come back today with another video but before i get started on all the details please hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel and you like what you see and if you are subscribed already please make sure to turn those notifications on so you do not miss out on any of my videos so i'm going to be showcasing this kinky straight unit from the company wild african i'm going to make sure to leave some unboxing footage on the side this is what the texture is looking like really nice and natural this unit is 22 inches in length and it is 150 percent in density cap construction has two combs on the side also get a comb in the back your adjustable strap and your removable elastic band i'll show you guys what this unit looks like on before i do any customizations to it or cut the lace and y'all this hairline this hairline looks really good i didn't go in and pluck anything that is how it came like look at that look at that hairline that looks really really good nice and natural it's not plucked out too much it looks good I my cap back because it was showing right here and the lace is pretty thin and because it's plucked out it was going to show i only have on one wig cap today so make sure you have on one that's really thin around the edges so you don't have to worry about this showing but you also get really deep parting space this is a 13 by 6 yes you can see my cap right there but once i put my powder in that's going to blend all in anyway it does come parted as a middle part however you don't have to leave it parted in the middle you could definitely part this on the side and they already go in and bleach the knots for you so you really don't have to do too much to this one which i'm happy about because i don't have to worry about you know plucking anything out and bleaching any knots and then the knots on here if you can't see them they're like they're super small i'm gonna go ahead and get to styling this unit and then of course you guys will see the final look and then i will come back with my final thought i got this lace off and i just had to pop back in and and show you guys Look at that, that looks so natural. is going to be great for the winter months because this is a lot of hair i wouldn't go higher in density with this unit um you could probably even go a bit lower if you feel like this is just too much because i can feel this on okay i can feel this on the hair is really nice and soft but it definitely has some weight to it um you can even see that it looks super long on me i am only 5'2 so of course if you are taller it's going to not look as long but yeah this is definitely some long hair don't care on me saw this unit using my active hole spray if you wanted to rock this glueless you definitely could 
I couldn't do that because it felt like a little bit roomy in the back area to where I felt like if I wanted to rock this glueless, it was gonna kind of slip and slide and I didn't want that going on. So the active hole spray definitely worked for me. I only used a little bit because of course a little bit goes a long way and it does dry down very quick. And I feel like it did a really good job. Um, I didn't have to go in and do any extra customizations to the hairline area. I didn't put any powder into the hairline area. It just blended well into my skin. Now I did put some powder into the parting space. Of course, I wanted to kind of open it up a bit more and then i also wanted to conceal my cap with this being pre-parted as a middle part i did notice that it looks a little bit slimmer in the middle but of course if you part it on the side it does look a little bit more open i don't have to use as much powder if you decide to part this anywhere else and my flat iron turned up to 400 degrees and it didn't knock out much of the texture it also didn't make it like super flat you can definitely see the texture in this unit. Now, I know that some people may not be a fan of the crimps. Some people don't mind it. I don't feel like it looks too bad at all. It's definitely more up in this area that I noticed. Of course, it's all throughout the unit, but it's not as super noticeable down here as it is like right up in here. But as I was hot combing and everything, it's definitely not going away. So if you're not a fan of that, then you might want to look into another type of style that does not have as much texture to it. I had no issues with getting this unit to lay down flat. I did use the wax stick that they provided in the box and then laid it down. I really didn't also notice a lot of shorter hairs at the top, which is good because those shorter hairs really do drive me crazy. Um, and then also throughout the wig, I'm not noticing a lot of shorter hairs nor frizziness. Now I did use my Sleek and Shine Serum, of course, just to kind of help it be a little bit more sleeker. Didn't have to add too much of the serum because this unit is not super frizzy. And like I said, it doesn't have a lot of flyaway. Now the ends on this hair look really nice and full. So if you wanted to rock a ponytail, you definitely could. Shedding and tangling goes, I did receive a little bit of shedding. And then as far as tangles go, I'm not really receiving any tangling at this moment. Like I said, the hair is very nice and soft. It probably will happen in the nape area, especially if you're gonna be wearing scarves, sweaters, big jackets. I mean, with this, with this density, I definitely would carry around a wide tooth comb because she is so full. Yeah, this one is really cute. I mean, the hairline is on point. The lace is blending in very well. What to do with this one except for take it out the package, cut your lace. Add a little heat to it, and I think you'll be good to go. What do you guys think about this kinky straight unit? If you are feeling this one, I am going to make sure to leave all the links down below. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Once again, turn those notifications on, share, and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.